All right, so it's a disgusting day in New Hope, but we're doing some great hair still. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video about curly hair and the structure of curly hair. I uh, put a lot of time into that, and I think I got my point across, but I'm not sure, but the comments seem to be uh, pretty positive, so thank you guys for that. Uh, today, what we're gonna focus on, we're gonna go over uh, layering long hair. Here is the end result of the mannequin that we cut today. Um, like I said, it's a lot of movement and uh, a lot of layers, so I think you guys are gonna get a lot out of that. It's not as long as I would've liked it to be, but uh, it wasn't because I took length off, it was just because mannequins don't have that long a hair. So uh, this can be transferred into a longer haircut, so don't be worried about that. Uh, but it does have a ton of movement. Uh, you can see all the layers through the back, through the side. So this could be a face frame haircut. Um, in this style, we styled it back. We used a round brush. So a lot of cool steps in this haircut. I think you guys are gonna like it. So let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. Oh, and before we start the step-by-step, -step, I wanna make sure that in the comments below. The comments are my favorite part of these videos. So post in the comments what you think of the video. Also, what you wanna see next and hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks. All right guys, so we're gonna start off. Um, this is the carving comb, which I, I've used in previous haircuts. I love this tool, so I'm gonna show you guys another haircut with that. This is gonna be a long layered haircut. It's very simple, and that's you know what I like about it because it's so salon friendly. Uh, so I think you guys are gonna enjoy this cut. We're gonna start off our sectioning by taking out a U section below parietal ridge. So uh, right below the ridge of the hair, you can see that sectioning. We're gonna start by creating a face frame. Um, this is what I love about the carving comb. I'm uh, figuring out how much weight I wanna leave in this face frame, and then I'm basing my elevation on that. So um, I'm, my elevation is kind of medium. I could raise it up if she had thicker hair, or I could lower it if she had skinnier hair, just to keep some of that density. But we're coming straight out from the head. That's gonna create our face frame. Now I'm gonna go in, same thing on the other side. Um, I'm using the carving comb wide. I like the wider teeth on this, uh, just for freedom of quickly working through the hair. Uh, if I was working on a tighter shape, um, I would definitely go with the carving comb fine. And you can see I'm using it pretty much like a pencil and just drawing in those lines. So that's, that's the quick face frame right there. Uh, now I'm gonna take out the top. The cool part about this cut is I'm gonna literally comb the entire top of the head forward. Uh, you can see that whole U shape. I'm bringing it into my hand and I'm gonna start uh, figure out where I want that guideline to start in the for the fringe area. And I'm just gonna carve through this entire section. What that's gonna do is layer the entire haircut for me, uh, put a pop of volume in the top of the head and uh, and pretty much finish the haircut. I'm, I'm gonna go through with the 50% carve side and take out a little bit of weight on the ends just to add a little bit of texture. And that is the haircut. You can see how quick that comes together. And then I'll go through and clean up my baseline uh, just by using the 100% carve side of the carving comb. So such a simple haircut, but you can do this haircut all day long in the salon. Uh, and we all know time is money. So this is definitely a quick technique to get a long layered haircut and get something kind of new and fun. So I'm gonna go through, now I'm gonna do a round brush blow dry. I wanna, I wanna bring out my ergo brushes and show you guys uh, a quick round brush technique with this. Now, I wish the mannequin, like I said in the, in the beginning of the video, I wish the mannequin had longer hair uh, to really work with. This haircut would be great on even longer hair, uh, but this is what we have to work with with the mannequin. I'm gonna use two round brushes at a time. A lot of you guys have probably tried this before, but if you haven't, it works really well um, because I leave one round brush in to cool while I blow dry my next section, then I take it out as I work through. That just allows, because you want the heat to set in, the hair cool off, and then your cuticle uh, layer will be set where you want it. So I'm working on diagonal sections, going through um, using my ergo dryer and ergo brush, which I really enjoy the power of the blow dryer. And then these brushes are just second to none. Any of you guys out there that have used the ergo brushes, they're really, really awesome. The handle is super long. The barrel is super long, so you can work big sections at a time. 
and get a lot more work done. All right, so you'll notice that I'm working on a diagonal forward, which is going to push the weight of this blow dry off of the face. That's really what I, my goal was. Um, I'm pretty much coming straight out from the head. I do like to work back and forth a little bit just to add a little flexibility to the, the base of the hair. But uh, for the most part, just diagonal forward, straight up out of the head, creating as much volume as I possibly can uh, in the haircut. Same thing on the opposite side, working diagonal forward again, uh, keeping that nozzle on the blow dryer. If you guys have taken the nozzle off your blow dryer but still have it, I would try when you're working with a round brush, definitely put the nozzle back on the dryer because that's going to help with the airflow. It's going to help the airflow move over the cuticle um, and, you know, it's just going to help with your blow drying and keeping the cuticle smooth on the hair. All right, now we're gonna work the fringe area. What you're gonna notice is I go one way and then I work it back the other way. Um, what I'm doing there, and you can't really see it that well. Um, this is what happens when you film yourself. Uh, but I go back and forth because I'm keeping flexibility in the fringe. I really, I'm gonna have uh, my guest in this particular blow dry wear her hair back off of her face. So I wanted that flexibility and that movement in the haircut. So we'll add a little bit of hairspray using our Bricado hairspray. And I'm just going to go through with my hands, brush the hair back, and then work it forward. What that's going to do is kind of pop that volume up. And you can see how those layers just come to life. Uh, it's a nice rounded shape for the haircut. So I hope this inspires you guys and gives you something to do today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next video. Did I mention I love when you leave comments and like the video? Make sure you do that before you stop watching. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.